Okay, here we go with the simple stone, one of my favorite little steelhead flies. Just a real consistent one. I'm using that 6 aught fire orange thread on there. Everything you're going to need is pretty much right here for us. We've got uh, the bead that we go with on this. It's a size 8 Daiichi X point X510 hook, steelhead hook. Um, super strong, super sharp. Never lose fish on those. Well, not because of the hook anyway. And then we've got the 3.8 millimeter brass on there. You could go with tungsten too if you wanted to. That's got quite a bit of weight in itself. The abdomen is going to be the midge diamond braid. Uh, the rust color is what I prefer on that, although you can change that color up as much as you want to. And then we've got um, the tail on there, which is going to be the grizzly marabou and that tan, which is nice. And we've got the thorax. It's a tinsel chenille. It's a large, hot orange. I like that. I like the lavender. I like the chartreuse colors on that. We've also got the legs that we're going to use. These are the centipede legs from Montana. They make a clear tan. Um, really nice. It, it radiates uh, through the water. The color shines right through the leg. So uh, it kind of takes on the hue of the water around it. It's kind of a neat, neat color. And then... Just as a wing case on that, we're going to use some thin skin. Uh, Bustard model natural is what I like to use for this. So we'll start with that. We'll go on. We're going to put a tail on. And going on that. Just preen those feathers back. Get them back. Measure it out. It's about a hook length. Work there. Now this is a little bit different on proportions because you've got a curved shanked hook. But we'll start wrapping here. You can kind of check it. Make sure you've got enough tail there pull it into position at that point if you need more and then we want to go about halfway down the bend you don't want to go all the way down the bend um, you know if you go too far you're going to close off your gape and if you close off your gape on that and you go to hook fish on that especially uh, you know some of these fish that are 10 15 pounds you're not going to have enough hook there to keep it set they're going to come off on you and I have pinched the barbs on these so you know as I get going with that and I'm fighting a fish you know you got to keep the tension anyway your rust diamond braid that you're going to use, you're going to need about a 6-7 inch piece of it just to make sure you have enough. If you hold it on top of the shank and you start wrapping your thread around that, it's automatically going to want to roll. Uh, just physics, it's going to push it to the far side of the shank, that's where we want it on there. And then you really don't have to make consecutive thread wraps when you're wrapping the fly, but it doesn't hurt. And so you can, but it doesn't need to be uniform if the body this abdomen is a little bumpy. It just looks a little buggier. And I'm just going to use the rotary. Now I could half hitch off the thread on here so that you know it doesn't build any bulk up by the eye or anything like that behind the bead. But we really don't need to on this fly. We're going to go over that with the chenille. Uh, it's not really going to affect it. I'm going to make a few tight wraps. Trim that off of there. So we've got that off. The next thing that we're going to go to is our thin skin. I'm going to cut a strip just about as wide as the bead. You know, if you can see that on there, that's about how wide we need it to be. I'm going to put that right down over the top. See it butts up against that bead right there. And make a little thorax area so you back it up just about halfway between where the barb is and the point is. Um, even though I've crimped that barb, you can kind of get a little bit of a look there. It's, it's almost in between is where that thread is wrapping around. That's how much space we're going to need on there. It is easier to put this thorax chenille on if you do it now rather than after the legs go on. So we're going to start with that. And I'm tying on my peak vise. So I've got one of their material clips on here too and I'll show you why that comes in handy. I've stripped the end fibers on there just so that it doesn't build any more bulk into that thorax area. Tie that down with a few good wraps and then we've got this material clip Peak has uh, a couple of different sizes of this, but uh, you'll notice one thing that it stays flat on there. It doesn't open up because it's not a domed one, uh, so all of the all of the little notches in the spring stay consistent, and stuff doesn't fall out when you go to use it. So it's kind of nice. Now the legs that we're going to use, we're just going to leave about a hook's length going forward. We're going to tie those down here. We're going to use like three or four medium pressure wraps. We don't need to put a lot of pressure on these right now uh, for two reasons. One, we're going to do that when we wrap this. 
uh, chenille for the thorax. Two, we need to pull these into position. This is the easiest way I've found to tie the legs on. Putting them on top parallel to each other. Slide it down to the side to the position you want to keep them in, just like that. Take this off. We're going to make, kind of move these legs out of our way here. We'll pull those forward. You're going to make one wrap in behind the legs. You'll see it'll kind of push those forward even. You're going to make another wrap in between. Now these are fairly tight wraps. You know, we're actually using this to uh, bind the legs in. You can see the legs are kind of pointed forward still. We'll pull those back in the front. Come around one more time. And then we're going to take our thread. Make several tight wraps right around it. Trim off the remaining tinsel. Okay. And then just pull your case forward. That wing case just behind the bead. I like to go one wrap over the top there. Pull it back. And then I like to make three or four tight wraps in behind it. And before I even remove it, just take a whip finisher. I'll make a few whips. Pull it nice and tight. Get in there. Trim that off. Pull this up tight. Pull your case get up tight. Off, get that out of there. Get trim that finished. out. And then we'll just trim these legs up a little bit. You know, they're just about the right length. I really like them just about a hook length long out there. You know, if they're a little longer, a little shorter, it's really not going to matter. But um, you can see the wing case on there, which you wind up underneath. A little bit of that chenille showing on there. They really seem to like that. Uh, browns, steelhead, salmon. I've caught rainbows on this fly. Um, primarily, I use the lavender. Like I said, you can go several different colors on this. You really don't have to be too limited by your colors. You could use any color you want on that little thorax area. And that's it. That's a simple stone.